More of IU's songwriters have released statements addressing plagiarism accusations. Earlier this week, it was reported that a complaint was filed against IU on the violation of copyright law with regards to her six songs, The Red Shoes, Good Day, Bibby, Pitiful, Boo, and Celebrity. IU's agency EDM Entertainment has since released an official statement regarding the accusations and ensured strong legal action against malicious rumors. On May 12, music producer and Mystic Story president Jo Young Chul released the following statement on IU's recent plagiarism accusations. Hello. As the producer who was responsible for the production of IU's past albums, I thought I should make a few comments. While I've monitored all the songs that continue to claim plagiarism on YouTube and were recently accused, I was unable to discover any suspicion of plagiarism. Just because you've taken one part of a song and think there's a song that has a similar melody or chord progression to it does not make that plagiarism. This is not my personal opinion as this is the court precedent. The parts of the songs being accused do not even have the same melody or chord progression. I saw an article saying that German band Nekta reached out regarding plagiarism and did not receive any response, but this is different from the truth. At the time, Nekta's legal representative sent mail to LOEN and LOEN and their legal representative responded. They sent mail and notices confirming the basic facts, but the case closed as they stopped responding. The agency and law firm likely still have the mail and notices sent at the time. The copyright dispute is basically an issue between copyright holders. I question whether a third party has the right to make accusations, and they must be held legally responsible if this is malicious defamation.